yo, 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 yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy EOU, aka the Harlem Legend, man. If you're new to the channel, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you set your bell notification so you know when I'm going live. Welcome to Harlem Legend TV, man. Yo, look, man, we got to get right into this one, man. Let's talk Primo. Yeah. Top scammer in New York City, Primo. You heard? A.K.A. James Hilliard. I ain't going to hold you, man. He responds to the robbers. Yeah. He comes right out and he responds to the robbers. I, I just don't get the mindset of a lot of these dudes that's actually doing this internet stuff these days. You heard? I would have thought he would have learned a lot. I, I would have thought he would have watched who's around him. You heard? I got to be honest, because the word on the street, yeah, it, it, you know I'm connected, y'all. The word on the street is, it was the people close to him. You heard? His own homies. You heard the people he confided in got him for his most precious 400K worth of jewelry. You heard? But he's known for putting everything online. Look at him weighing up the jury. He puts everything online. This dude is a walking billboard. And he don't mind. See, a lot of these rappers, so-called rappers, you heard quote, unquote, they don't mind putting anything online. These dudes will sell their soul, man. I'm going to keep it honest. But the word on the street is, it's the dudes close to him. Jealousy is a is an is a evil trait. A lot of young black men from the hood, they carry that, bro. I got to keep it 100. They carry that. Let me show y'all when he was explaining the robbery. Pay attention. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah. What up? Talk to nah, the street, the street, the streets, the streets what are those, so we just go, we just go fill them in and all that, because you know you a big motivator out here in the streets, you know you motivate the city uh -huh. and all that, so you know they just want to hear from the horse's mouth and all that, they want to make sure you good, yo. you feel me, they want to, they want to talk to Mr. Spin that shit. Watch okay, how you so looking around, y'all. I was going to disappear off the gram. I wasn't going to pop my shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> niggas, niggas did what they were supposed to do. Niggas got lucky. That's it. At the end of the day, them niggas, yo, I'm going to call them niggas right there. Yo, shout out to them robbery boys. I'm going to call them niggas. So as y'all can see, he made a statement. You heard? He came out talking his talk right after all of this happened. He, I mean, it's essentially, he didn't even care. Let me tell y'all something. When you don't actually earn the money, yeah, I'm going to keep it 100. When you don't actually earn the money, you don't care. You heard? You're going to get that right back anyways. And if I'm not mistaken, don't a lot of these guys got insurance? Because the robbers, <laughs> they showing the jury. Yeah, they showing the jury. They not afraid. It's all over, all over the net. They are showing the jury. They are making sure everybody knows they got him for his jury. It's nasty work all the way around the board. I got to keep it real. He needs to get off the internet. Why I keep going to the internet, bro? I just got to be 100. You heard? Why I keep going to the internet? Look at them wearing this stuff. Why I keep going to the internet? I would never get that. I would never get that. We also found out he was an ex-court officer. I'm just keeping it real. A court officer? And listen to what he used to do to the inmates. Pay attention. Off the rip, nigga. Niggas is trying to say you a cop. What's up with that? <laughs> Yo, bro, we, we gotta <laughs> say that shit like that. We gotta say what? They trying to say you. They try to put that. Nah, they try to put that on free, bro. We know it's we know what's up, but I need you to just clear that real fast. Address that real quick. That's it. Fuck all of that. I was. I was never a cop. Okay. I was a court officer. Okay. Okay. I was a court officer. I was working in downtown Brooklyn, whatever. If you ever get locked up, you probably see me. I probably bring the court, shit like that. Whatever. I mean, it was a couple of niggas. I was being dickheads. I probably sat them in there for three days. Uh huh. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See him in the streets, they might want to fight and shit like that. But yeah, other than that, that's what, that shit yeah. was just a job. Gotcha. You, that's, I you, ain't even you said speak some ill shit. shit too, nigga. You said nigga, future worked at Kroger's like before. You we all started before. somewhere, right? right. Saying, we all started somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So, so niggas got up. Niggas got up. He wasn't a CEO though. He wasn't. He was a court officer. Was, he was, he was, no, I wasn't a cop. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, I just want to clear it up. It was not no cop, no CEO, none of that. We want to get. I gotta keep it real. I gotta keep it ten thousand. So now there's speculation to the street dudes, quote unquote. All the dudes that say they gangsters, how is it that he's able to run around Brooklyn and scream this and scream that and be this kind of gangster in his music and I miss the spin that when he has a pass of being an actual off, they get sworn in too. You heard what he said he did to the inmates? I know, I know, I didn't, I, I didn't miss that. I'm just being real. I also did a video on Bo Mayo. You heard salute to anybody that went and supported that video. If you ain't see that video, go support it. Definitely did a video on Bo Mayo. You heard? Bo Mayo looked at like he didn't want nothing to do with this guy. I'm going to be honest. They were in Brooklyn. They were on, they were in Brooklyn on a, on, a, on a movie premiere or something like that. Look at Bo Mayo's face, y'all. Let's, let's not forget what happened here. I'm just being honest. Look at this. A little peas and all that. Be here. Oh, who the fuck is that? Oh, they got a fucking boat. They got a fucking boat outside. Outside, we got the motherfucking uh, the correctional officer, uh, cream shop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bo wasn't messing with him, and Bo is really in the streets. Anybody that know, they know. You heard all the street politics. Y'all know. If you know, you know. Bo was still in the streets because allegedly the feds just picked him up. So allegedly he was still in the streets. You heard he was still trying to live that lifestyle. He was still sending all, spending all that money. Ended up beefing with this guy. He ended up actually beefing with this guy going back and forth, but on a money tip. Who got more money, flashing more money on the internet. You know how it go. You heard? Hood dreams. The same nigga activity. That's all they were doing. The same Negro activity. But now he responds. You heard? He responds to the Jack boys. You heard? And I got to be honest with you. Me, personally, he's going to be able to get it back because when you ain't actually earn it, you can get it back. You heard? It's not hard to earn that money back, especially when you have relationships. You heard? But you got to watch the people around you. We got to keep it real. The people around you is the poison. They the ones that don't want to see you grow. You over there hanging with Beanie Siegel. You uh, come on now, five year old foreign. You outside with these guys? Like you, you really trying to get to a bag? You talking to Floyd Mayweather? See, this man puts everything on social media. Everything, gambling games. You heard being with Benny the Butcher and these guys. I think he does too much. Look, I think he does a little too much. The Jack Boys is hungry. It's the holidays. You heard? No, I don't feel bad for him. You heard? Because I know he was able to get it, and I showed y'all. I actually put the paperwork out there. In 2012, he was convicted of, you know, scamming. He was booked. He did time for this case. So when I bring those type of cases to y'all attention, the last thing I need y'all to do is question my credibility. You heard? If I'm saying top scammer, I'm looking at him as a scammer, period. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what your argument is. If I look up paperwork that says you was a scammer, I'm going to call you a scammer. Now, maybe he's doing something different now, but no. To me, he's New York City's top scammer. This is who I see. You heard? This is who I see on Instagram spinning that shh. You heard? Salute. Um, I got to play this for y'all. I got to play this for y'all because he responds to the Jack boys. Just can't stay off the internet. Bomeo already looked at him like, oh, okay. Yeah, he know you one of them. You heard? New York, y'all accept anybody. Shout out to Brownsville. Salute. This is when you gotta practice what you preach. Lames get lucky. Real niggas do it again. Mr. Spin that shit just gotta spin that shit. 
You see, one thing about when you a hustler, I always yelling and screaming on this fucking camera. Long as my foot could touch these pavement, that money gonna attract me. Period. That's that's just how a hustler is. I'm the neighborhood hero in my city, you heard? Even though I got some few knuckleheads. I'ma show y'all niggas how you grind this shit up and you get it right back. All that shit was a bad gambling loss. Shit happens. I'm not Superman. We get better, we make better decisions. I'm loading. I got to keep it 100 with y'all. This is why we don't grow as a people. These dudes would never understand their worth. They would never understand the value of a million dollars. A lot of these guys, man, they, they get on internet for anything. They would say anything. That was disgusting to me. I'm going to be real. Lay low. Just stay quiet. You heard? I know you got aspirations of being a rapper. Obviously, it didn't work this far. You heard? Because you're not making music. You're not making money from music. I'm, I'm going to be honest. You're not making any money from music. So at the end of the day, it didn't work this far. What does it take for these dudes to understand their worth and what's really going on in these wicked streets? You heard? I feel... You know, I feel disgusted for our race. I feel this. He was a good kid. He came from a good family. His mom was a CO. You heard? If you look at the full interview, he actually said his mom's made him get the job as a court officer. So you don't really want to live that life. A lot of dudes, I feel like, get caught up, you heard, and they can't help themselves. It's an adrenaline rush. And at the end of the day, these dudes need to sit down. Sit down somewhere. It's disgusting what you're putting out here. It should be no way. No way you're back on the internet. No more than 24 hours later. Talking crazy. It, it, this doesn't make sense to me, man. But hey, who am I? Who am I? Uh, once again, make sure y'all go check out my video I dropped on them, man. Uh, dope video. I appreciate everybody that showed love. You heard? When I showed he was a correction officer, you know what I mean, uh, uh, um, a court officer, he spoke about it. Yo, I appreciate everybody that pulled up in the building, man. Salute, man. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you set your bell notification so you know when I'm going live, man. It's your boy e or you, a.k.a. the Harlem legend, man. Salute. Do know who I'm talking about. Shut your ass up before I get to talk shit about you. You don't want me to expose you.